Good morning, 92.9 on your FM dial. You are listening to the Crack of Dawn on 92.9 All American Country. 8.20 in the morning, and in studio with me right now, i got my man John Quarterman. And uh, how are we doing, John? Pretty good. I'm learning all sorts of things about cracking here. <laughs> yeah, man. You, 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 you are into what I'm into, man. Uh, and that's the rivers and water, man. You got the ninth annual Big Little River Paddle Race coming up this Saturday at 8 a.m. Tell me all about it. All righty. Well, that's a great way to get out there and find out what's on our rivers. That's a nice stretch of the Little River or Blackwater River with cypress trees, Spanish moss, old pines, and yes, occasional alligator. You'll see the alligator mostly towards the end of the three-mile run when you get into the lake. That's the lake at Reed Bingham State Park. And, uh, you know, the people that paddle fast, they can do it in half an hour. Yeah. For Me, sure. I try to finish in an hour. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Some people take two. So you can race. And we got the, the guy who won our other paddle race last year, the Walls Boomerang Paddle Race. He's coming. I hope he has some competition. <laughs> That's cool, man. So what, to let people know, what exactly is a paddle race? Well, it's where you get in the boat and you paddle hard and you hope you get there before the other guys. There you go, man. The proceeds will benefit the Friends of Reed Bingham State Park and the uh, Watershed Coalition Incorporated, the Water Keepers Alliance members, and Little River as Swanee River Keepers, man. He's got, uh, he's got a sign posted up right there for us. Yep, that's Walls um, Watershed Coalition, Walls, W-W-A-L-S. Uh, we've been around since 2012. Our board members are mostly from Lyon and Tift counties, but we got them as far away as Pine Mountain in Jacksonville, Florida. That's cool, man. Uh, the prizes are going to be an overall winner. is going to get a $100 uh, cash prize. If first place finisher beats previous time, an additional $200 prize. Also, winners in each category will receive a special award registration $30. You can do it online in advance at www.als.net. And that stands for what again? Well, that's the name of the organization, Walls Watershed Coalition. There you go. Right, and it's only online in advance. This is because of the pandemic. We don't want people crowding around yeah. tables. Get your social distancing in still. That's right. Uh, there's a five dollar park fee to go into Reed Bingham that helps them uh, upkeep the uh, facility. Mm -hmm. Bring your own if you have it for boats, canoes, and kayaks only. No motor, rowboats, or paddle boards allowed. Uh, rental canoes and kayaks in advance are ten dollars. Uh, they are available for pickup at uh, Red Roberts Landing. Where's that at? Uh, Red Roberts is where we're starting this thing. That's at way up at the top end of the park. That's, okay. Yeah, you know, west of Sparks. And that $10, by the way, is normally the one-hour fee. The park's making a special deal, $10 for the whole thing. There you go. Everybody's going to gather up at 8 a.m. At, at Red Roberts Landing. Um, that's uh, 4727 uh, Roundtree Bridge in Adel, Georgia. Take I-75 off exit 41, head west, turn north onto Roundtree Bridge Road, and you'll find it right there. Uh, COVID-19, uh, distancing and uh, mask are required at the start and finish, but you ain't going to wear the mask while you're paddling. So, uh, that's right. Uh, yes, and the way you're going to pick the heats, we're doing four heats this time. This is an attempt to keep people from crowding up the boat ramp as yeah. well. <laughs> sure. Heat number one is the racers. If you want to race, you'll pick heat number one. The way you'll do that is when you get there, we'll have four tables set up carefully distance apart. Pick the table for which heat you want. Okay. So go to which one you want to go to. You probably got your, what, your advanced, intermediate, and then uh, That's right. and whatnot. And there you go. The course is a scenic three-mile all downstream stretch of the Little River, like you talked about, with winding flat black water and some trees to go around, alligators, red wasps, snakes may be present. Let me tell you, man, don't worry about those things. They just swim into the water. They ain't going to come bother you. So, well, uh, yeah, what we say is don't pet the alligators and they won't mess with you. <laughs> that is 100% the truth. I have learned that my whole life swimming around in these rivers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I swim into the alligators constantly. They don't bother you. So don't worry about those guys. Awards are going to be at 1130 at Reed Bingham uh, West Boat Ramp. If you uh, don't have a mask, they'll provide you with one. Free lunch will be provided at the finish with individual containers. Whether the event will be held, whether rain or shine, but will be delayed or canceled for severe or unsafe weather. But it looks pretty good this weekend. From the yeah, it does look good. People have been worried about the weather, but the current report is it's probably going to rain in the afternoon. It might drizzle in the morning, so just bring a rain jacket. If it's just drizzling, we've got to paddle. There you go, man. And